Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jennifer Gianni, and we're back today with another video about helping your clients come more into their body wisdom helping your clients to really transition from the crazy outer world into the, the studio um, and to help them to drop into their body and to start to pay attention to their body once more. And then that lesson goes from the studio back home, right? So hopefully they take these techniques back home so that they can um, be present more often in their body and not just in their head. So today, I'm gonna offer you the technique of a little bit of acupressure for the ear. And so in Japanese acupuncture, it's all about the ear that corresponds with every part of our body. And so I'm offering this up that, that perhaps you could use it in the beginning of class, maybe during footwork or on the mat with leg slides or opening and closing butterfly legs or just breathing as your clients start to give themselves acupressure at these different points on the ear. Now I'm gonna describe in general what a lot of these meridians, these acupressure points start to inspire in the body, but if you forget the specifics, no worries. They all help to open up, to relieve tension, for the client to, to get into a deeper, more relaxed, easy state in their body so that their movement, when you start to bring them into bigger movement, will be easier, more connected, more whole body, more enjoyable, right? So this is just a passageway to, to that final event. <laughs> so um, the first one that we're gonna explore is the very, very tip of the ear. And you could have the client hold the tip of their ear for 20, 30 seconds, bring their awareness of being their first person expert, so anywhere else in their body, they start to soften. And this is said to help back and shoulder pain. And then you can go just below that, right? Just below the tip of the ear, again, squeezing. And also when they're doing this acupressure on themselves, you really have to bring their attention to trying to relax the shoulder and the arm as much as possible, and also relaxing any extra tension in their hand. So um, the second point is said to relieve any internal discomfort that might be going on. So it might be in the pelvic organs, right? The rectum, the bladder, um, the kidneys. And then you go down one more and add a little squeeze. And this um, third point is said to help relieve sinuses, could also be sore throat. And we go down a fourth one, again, holding this about uh, 20, 30 seconds. And this fourth one, is said to help to relieve gas and bloating, et cetera, et cetera. And then our last and fifth one will be right at the earlobe. And you, could, you don't have to do all of these. They could just do one, or they could do all of them with the same kind of cueing, just for the relief of the body, just to drop deeper in. So you don't necessarily have to remember all of the corresponding um, benefits. But the earlobe one is for a healthier heart and to get rid of head tension. Ooh, I feel a big difference. 
That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time, and never stop learning.